Hi, I'm Dan Costa, Editor-in-Chief of PCMag.com, here on the show floor at Mobile World Congress 2018. The team has scoured the floor and looked at everything that has been launched at this show, and we've looked for the best robot. We've seen a lot of robots. There can be only one best robot of Mobile World Congress, and it is right here. It is the Teamy, and here to talk to us about it is Danny Isserling, uh, Isserlis, Isserlis, Isserlis uh, head of the New York studio at Teamy. Here's your award, first of all. We've got to get to the Thank most you. important thing. Um, <laughs> Best of CES. Again, a lot of robots, a lot are still in development, Teamy is still in development, but we think this has got the most potential. Walk us through what makes Teamy different than so many of the other robots that are rolling around the show floor. Um, okay, so uh, first of all, Teamy uh, is the first personal robot that, as you mentioned, works and has an actual uh, clear value to the uh, consumer. So I think there's three main uh, verticals which uh, make it uh, revolutionary. The first one being extremely sophisticated technology, 16 different sensors, sound system, AI, screen, all that uh, simplified into one single button. Uh, the second thing I'd say is revolutionary would be the navigation system. Teamy is designed to navigate autonomously uh, with a complete obstacle avoidance in the most dynamic surroundings in the world, your living room, socks, pets, kids, whatever. Um, and Teamy does it perfectly. And the third thing would be uh, the price. Uh, till now we've seen pretty uh, expensive robots which aren't really affordable. Mm -hmm. And this one is uh, priced at $1,500, which uh, I think is a reasonable price and, uh, yeah. and makes it possible for any of us to uh, be a robot owner. It seems, I mean, it seems it's a, it's a lot of money if you're comparing it to a PC price, but for robot prices where really they're only available to companies as lobby assistants, um, even the telepresence robots are also thousands and thousands of dollars, really only suited for business. Uh, this, is a, this is a price that could actually break into the home market. Um, so telepresence, one of the most important applications. Talk to me about how to make video calls and see people using Teamy. So uh, I think this is the main thing why we created Teamy. We recognize that once we come home, we're still stuck in our phones and we love our phones. We're not saying get rid of your phones, but we want you, uh, when you come home, to lift your head and free your hands and look at the people you live with and you know want to call your parents or your distant family more and more. And we designed this, uh, this uh, uh, device so that you'll enjoy video calls much more. Why? Because it moves with you. We are a moving creature and so is Teamy. Uh, you have two directions of using Teamy. If you're with Teamy uh, next to you, then Teamy will follow you wherever you go once you uh, ask for it and will keep you at the center of the frame. So no more um, tilting uh, iPads yeah. and uh, setting up uh, webcams. Uh, just Teamy is with you. And on the other side, if you're on a business trip and you want to visit your family or one of your offices around the world, you can just hop into your robot that you own and just travel around either with joystick, which is fun, mm -hmm. but even more easily uh, by preset locations. When you get this robot, you can really easily set up locations in your house or office and then you know just you just tell them to go to your bedroom, to your living room, to the conference room and it drives uh, autonomously, again, while uh, avoiding obstacles and people and everything. So. so telepresence and also the speaker on this, you played it a little bit as we were setting it up, it's kind of impressive. It, I mean, this is a small room, but it, it sounds pretty good. So that voice activation of the speaker is pretty powerful. Yeah, so uh, uh, personally I'm uh, audiophile and uh, again, we recognize that a lot of the smart speakers are, are s smart and not so much of a speaker. This, I'd say, would be equivalent pretty much to a Sonos 3. It's a, a sound system designed by Harman Kardon, including a subwoofer on the bottom, two mid-range speakers and two tweeters, and the sound is loud and clear. And it's basically a portable speaker for your house. People are already spending a couple hundred bucks on that. Um, you've got telepresence built in. What is next for Teamy? Like, what kind of applications and features are you going to add in the future? So, um, since because of the movement, we see this uh, as adding uh, another dimension to develop, developing apps. Uh, if you look at educational apps, if you want to learn uh, languages, you can travel around the house with Teamy. Teamy has object recognition, and he could uh, walk you through your uh, objects in the house and say, oh, this is a table. In Spanish, it is table or tabla. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure because I don't have yeah. the app yet. Um, if uh, we're looking at games, you can do hide and seek with Teamy, uh, where he is a complete participant, or you have uh, a friend hopping in mm -hmm. uh, the robot with telepresence. 
So all sorts of things like that. If, if we're talking about services, um, medical services, um, uh, doctor examination through Teamy, tutorials, learn guitar, you know, all sorts of that. So uh, it enables a person to be with you. And, you know, when, when someone, when you can bring anybody on board with you, so the poss possibilities are, uh, are enormous. So are there any features you want to demo that you want to just show what it can do? We're in a, we're in a very uh, adverse Wi-Fi conditions right now. <laughs> but um, is, there any, what, is there anything you want to show? Uh, of course. Uh, I'll take the Yeah, we'll take the award. You will take the award. Just for a second. Um, so first of all, I want to demonstrate just a bit of, uh, I just tapped the follow me button. That's mm -hmm. the only button on the, on the robot. Uh, and what you see now is what we call basic human robot interaction. So Timmy sees me, he sees my clothes, he sees my face, and he will follow me around wherever I go. Um, and this enables all that we've been, uh, we've been talking about. We call this basic human robot interaction because without that, I think, uh, all the propositions of robots aren't all that exciting, but, but with this, um, you feel that somebody is in, in, in communication. He sees you while saying that. We see this completely as a device. It's not your friend. It's mm -hmm. a device which will work perfectly. And this back is a charging station for your phone, so that when you come home, the idea is that you'll drop your phone. It'll be, that'll be where your phone rests, and it'll charge while it's there. This is, we, we consider this as a smartphone of the home, exactly like you mentioned. I put, put it on the tray, it's synced with my phone, and then whenever I want content, whenever I want to listen to music, I want to play something, I want to call my mother or uh, listen to the news or order Uber, I just call Timmy, he comes up, and I do whatever I want. So obviously it's still in development, uh, there's still some kinks to be worked out. When is this going to be shipping? When are users going to be able to get their hands on it? We are starting mass production this July, uh, parallel to sales in the U.S. and China. Um, and the first deliveries in China and the U.S. are expected just before Christmas 2018 in a nice big box that will be delivered in your house. Very cool. Yeah, it's a great product, and uh, we've looked at a lot of robots, and um, they're all appealing in some ways, but this is the robot that's got the best combination of features, functionality, and frankly, it's just furthest along out of everything we've seen. So congratulations on the win. Thank and, you. And um, I look forward to getting it into the lab when it's ready to ship and uh, having it be uh, and putting it through its paces. Thank you. Danny, Thank thanks so much. So much. That's our best robot at Mobile World Congress 2018. Stay tuned on PCMag.com for even more Mobile World Congress news.